I need eight. I need nine. One hundred. <laughs> oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Just doing a little work out here, you know. Just built myself a dumbbell rack out of wood. Check it out. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gary the Bearded Woodworker. Today, I'm going to try to take all of these mismatched free weights and build a stand from an old oak headboard I found on the side of the road. Let's see what happens. So I already took apart the headboard and I didn't think about uh, framing it or filming it, but I've got these solid oak pieces of wood and this sucker is pretty darn heavy. This was the leg of the headboard and that's three and a half inches by about an inch and three quarters. So almost a two by four. And then I had a whole bunch of these little guys and they were all toenailed in this way and this way. And you can see on this one right here, that's where they were going. And they all had a, a dowel and a, a hole and a dowel on each end too. So I just cut all these off just to give me workable wood. I'm going to see if I can use this and this and see what we can do. First of all, I have to clear off my table. So as you can see, these leg pieces are pretty damaged. There's a lot of tongue and groove and stuff, <laughs> a lot of staples. And uh, I was kind of a brute when taking it apart. But I'm going to be able to salvage about two feet of it. And I don't need that much. These are going to be the legs, and I think, or the base part. And then I think this will be the leg. This was the top portion of the headboard. And I'll see if I can't use those guys over there to uh, make the rack where the weights go on. We'll go with 19 degrees.
Jesus. I tell you, I've been awful lazy lately, I guess. <laughs> I'm making a dumbbell rack like, like I'm ever going to use them. Uh, anyway, it's, it's been a long time since I've worked on this. Off camera, I ripped down some... God, this might be maple. This might be... Oh, it, they're hardwoods. I bought them the other day at a garage sale for an 8-foot piece for a dollar not a dollar square or a dollar a linear foot not a dollar uh, a board foot but a dollar so it's pretty awesome anyways I, I ripped down a piece I had in half which made this uh, almost two inches and this is an inch and a quarter so I'm going to glue pre-drill and screw them like this and this is going to be where the weight set I'll show that Repeat. Uh, I want to give just a slight angle on the top so the weights are forward and they're hitting this lip there. I have it right now where it's level and I'm going to put the second one down here somewhere around the same angle. And I don't know what angle this is and I don't know if I'm going to 
angle it a little more or not, perhaps like that. I'm going to mark it here, take it apart, glue it, pre-drill, put two screws in right here, right there. And then I'll move on to this shelf. So I've taken all my mismatched weights that we've collected throughout the years and I evenly spaced them on a scrap again piece of wood from this headboard that I got. And I think I'm going to put here. And I have some dowels that I cut down to five and a half inches and I'm going to drill those in here. And I'm, I've got a couple extra. I might put some back here or whatever just to distribute more weight instead of having it all up front. Not even sure if this is going to work. Let's drill the holes now.